Hello everyone. In this video lecture, so we should study a topic in paper 3 of third semester Cordata. Okay. Now, uh, the topic from the Cordata paper we are choosing is the morphology of Herdmannia. Okay. So, before starting with the morphology of Herdmannia, so let us have a brief introduction regarding this organism. As we all know, the phylum Chordata consists of a subphylum known as the Protochordata, which are consisting of acidians. Okay, so the class Tunicata of subphylum Protochordata consists of acidians. Now they are the sessile organisms. That means they are directly attached to the substratum without any stalk or appendage. And they are, since they are attached, they are the sedentary forms and they are exclusively marine. As we all know, exclusively marine forms means they are present in the ocean. There are no freshwater forms. Now, these organisms are hermaphrodites. What do you mean by that? Hermaphrodites mean both the male and female sex organs are present in the same organism. Fine. Now, what about their um, fertilization? The sperm on the ovum meets in the water medium. So that is why it is the external fertilization. And when it comes to the development, um, it is indirect, including the tadpole larva. One interesting phenomenon that we see in case of Acidians is the retrogressive metamorphosis. What do you mean by that? There is the development during the larval development into adult. The larva has complex structures which are going to disappear and form a simple sedentary adult. Okay, a motile larva so degenerates many structures present in it to form a simple adult. So let us move on. So this is a topic. So in order to understand the morphology of Herdmannia, so we are going to we are going to start with the shape of the organism. Herdmannia has a body which is laterally compressed with attached end. That means the foot part of the Herdmannia, which is attached to the substratum, it is slightly compressed compared to the free. And so in order to understand this point, see if you look at this is the foot portion of Herdmannia and this is the free end, you can see here the foot portion is slightly compressed. And then let us move on to the next point that is the size of the organism. An average adult if you consider it measures about 9.5 centimeters long, 7 centimeter broad and 4 centimeter is the dimension. Now, what about the color? The fresh specimens are pinkish in color and because we see them usually in the laboratory, the laboratory specimens look yellowish, brown in color. Let's move on. So, look at the organism before starting with the morphological aspects. So, we have seen the shape, size and color. So, two important portions you can visualize here. This is a foot portion and this is the free end body proper. Okay. So, and there are two siphons you can see here. And there are two openings that are present. We call them as branchial aperture and atrial aperture. Through these apertures uh, proceed what are known as the branchial siphon and the atrial siphon. Okay. So, this brief structures we shall move on to learn regarding the external structure of the herd man. Okay, so first, how they have uh, divided the so, in order to study the morphology of herd mania, we divide the body into two important parts number one, body proper, and number two, foot. So, let us come to the body proper. So, body proper 
which is the upper part of the body that is the free end of the body longer and broader than the foot so we have seen in the previous slide the free end is longer and broader than the foot now the free end of the body proper forms two cylindrical projections named as branchial and atrial segments as i have shown you before starting from this branchial aperture there are two siphons moving down like this these two siphons are respectively named as the branchial and atrial siphons fine now let us move on to the next point the siphons they consist of openings they are known as the apertures one is a branchial aperture another one is a atrial aperture now these apertures if you look in the picture in this picture you can see they are guarded by what are known as the lips okay so they are guarded by four distinct lobes and these four distinct lobes are called as the lips and they are formed by elastic test so the outer covering of herdmania it is known as the test or tunic and this test or tunic also forms four lips surrounding the branchial and atrial aperture okay now so if you see regarding the branchial siphon the branchial siphon the uh, left one you can see the regarding this we are talking the branchial siphon is smaller compared to the atrial siphon and it is directed outwards okay and it plays a terminal opening as we have seen this already and that aperture is known as branchial aperture or mouth because the water moves into this aperture is also known as the incurrent aperture so the other aperture present in the free end of the herdmania it is known as the atrial aperture or also known as the cloacal uh, siphon so sorry atrial or cloacal siphon and this has a opening known as the atrial or cloacal aperture because the water that has moved in you now moves out through this opening it is known as the excurrent open okay now so i told you the body you know, is covered by tunic or uh, test now this uh, test forms a protective covering around the body okay and not only it is a protective covering it also acts as a accessory respiratory organ okay so it also acts as a accessory respiratory organ and also a receptor organ now what about the measurement thickness of this uh, test or tunic it measures about 4 to 8 mm and it is leathery and translucent okay what is the chemical nature of it what it is made up of it is uh, made up of uh, chemical known as the tunicin now the tunicin that is forming the mantle it is secreted by uh, that is uh, the tunicin that is forming the test or tunic is secreted by a uh, layer present beneath the tunic that is known as the mantle okay and this uh, tunic pairs of continuously from the outer surface there is shedding of the tunic and also continuously it gets secreted by the mantle present beneath the tunic now apart from that the test of the tunic it also accommodates organisms like algae hydroids anemones and molluscs so that gives them the characteristic color then so if you consider the uh, so we have seen the chemical aspect of it the structure secreting the mantle so if you take a section of the mantle and see how it looks like it looks like having the gelatinous matrix and various corpuscles are present in it interlacing fibers are present branching blood vessels are present and calcareous spicules so if you look at this picture you will understand better so here see in this picture you can see there is a vs a vertical section of the tunic they have taken there is clear visibility of the microsclees megasclees 
and the test vessels plus vessels are present, spicules are present, and so here is the magnified image, the terminal norms, test forming interlacing, and here, here you can also see the presence of different types of spicules that are forming the test or the tune. Now, the other part of the hardmania, it is known as the foot. The foot of the hardmania is entirely made up of testa tunic. Okay. Now, apart from this testa tunic, it is also attached with what are known as the sand particles, shell pieces, and other foreign particles attached to it. Now, what about the shape of the and the shape and size of the foot? It depends on what kind of substratum it is attached to okay so based on that the shape of the foot will be there now apart from helping in attachment the um, foot also helps in balancing the organism whenever there is some water current at all organism body is balanced by the foot okay so overall so we have seen the morphology of herdmania so a brief revision regarding that is it is a sedentary form so the color so if you see the pinkish or yellowish brown in color so based on whether it is the natural one or the stored one the body is divided into body proper and foot and the body proper mainly has two siphons branchial siphon and atrial siphon and they have openings known as the apertures branchial aperture and the atrial aperture guarded by four lips Okay, and the body is covered by a translucent uh, tunic or test uh, formed by the tunicin. Okay, so it is also acts as accessory respiratory organs that we have seen, and a foot acts as an organ of anchorage and it also helps in balancing. Okay, so this is the morphology. So let us have a brief test of our knowledge in this brief class after watching this video. Can you answer this question? The branchial and atrial apertures in Herdmania are guarded by how many lips? Yes. Yes, if you give the right, this is the right answer. Check whether you have understood it. There's no one. The second question, read carefully. Consider the following with respect to test or tunic in Herdmania. Okay, so uh, we have studied regarding the section of Herdmania. So let us recollect it. It is hard translucent layer covering the foot entirely. First point. Second point regarding the tunic is it is a soft leathery translucent layer covering the entire body, entire body and also acts as a balancing organ. Third point is it is a soft leathery translucent layer covering the entire body and also acts as an accessory respiratory organ. So these are the three points regarding the test of herdmania. Now what is the question? Which of the above statements are statements is or are correct? That means they are asking whether all of them are correct, whether 1 and 2 is correct, 2 and 3, what is the answer? So try to answer this. The right answer is only three is correct right now see it is not a hard translucent layer second point if you see soft leathery translucent layer that is true but entire body uh, and also excess balancing organ that is not correct so the right answer is the third one that is there is a soft leathery translucent layer covering the entire body and also acts as a accessory respiratory organ, not a balancing organ. Right. Let us see the next question. So the match the following. This one. Try to answer this. Right. So test our tunic. It is the accessory respiratory organ. Foot is a balancing organ. Atrial siphon is. The excurrent aperture and the balancing uh, branchial siphon is the incurrent aperture. Okay, so this is the reference. Thank you all for listening to this.